Hey, Basic Dad here. I'm in my garage. I'm getting ready to make really and truly one of my favorite cocktails. It's an old fashioned. It's, it's a simple drink. It's bourbon um, or rye, um, bitters, a little sugar, um, mix it together, a little um, citrus peel of an orange and you're good to go. Um, you know, these were made, I don't know, but you know, back like in the 1880s, 90s, and then as we went through Prohibition and things evolved, they started changing the way the drink was, was made, and I think somebody was in a bar, um, and was like, hey, can you make it the old-fashioned way? Hence the way the old-fashioned gets made. I'm gonna make mine a little bit different. I, just the way I like it. I think that's the beauty in making cocktails at home. You make it the way you like it. So stay tuned for the old fashioned. I'm gonna make it with a little bourbon. I've got the um, Angostar bitters. I've got a whiskey glass, that's a must. I've got an orange. I've got a orange peel. I've got an ice cube. Got a little maraschino cherry, um, and I'm gonna use simple syrup instead of the traditional sugar cube. I just think I don't like the coarseness of the sugar cube um, in the drink, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna start off. I like mine a little sweet, so I'm probably gonna put maybe a quarter of an ounce. Um, of simple syrup, syrup in. I'm gonna take the bitters, it's just aromatics. You can see that there, it's really good. I like to put between five to seven splashes. I think the traditional is somewhere between three and five. Gonna take the whiskey, ah, smells good. It's just a really good Kentucky bourbon. Um, and I'm going to put two ounces in. Gonna fill that up there and then I'm going to pour that in there. Okay. Now, the other thing that I like to do that's not traditional is I like to take a little orange slice and stick that in there and get it in. Don't worry, I'm still going to put the slice of the orange in to get that in. Um, but now that I've got this in, I'm gonna take my big ice cube. This is a nice four piece mold. I think I got it on Amazon for like five or six bucks. It's a really big cube. I could put it in the glass there. Take my spoon and I'll just kinda twist it around and it'll start falling to the bottom. And that's really for the dilution. Unfortunately, I don't have a bar spoon, so I'm just gonna take my spoon and I'm just gonna spin it around, let that melt. Now, one other thing that I like to do that is not traditional is I like to take about a teaspoon of cherry juice and drop that in there. And then I'm gonna add my cherry in there and I'm just gonna stir that up. Okay, um, I've got a little peeler here. What I'm gonna do is just peel back, get a little bit of this citrus peel here. I've got that there. I'm gonna fold it over, do it right over, let all that spruce in. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub it around the rim of the glass. And then, I'm just gonna kinda give it a twirl. I'm gonna drop that in there. And then we're just gonna stir. Just gonna let that dilute. And then we're gonna give it a taste. Okay, we're back with uh, the old fashioned. So as you saw, I put about two ounces of bourbon in. I put a simple syrup. It's just equal parts water, equal parts sugar, boiled. I prefer that over the sugar cube. It's less coarse. Um, the bitters in, whatever, you, you know, you could try that. It's a sweet. Um, I like about five to seven splashes. 
Um, an orange slice, non-traditional orange slice in. I didn't muddle anything together. Then I put the ice cube in, mixed it together. I put a teaspoon of cherry juice and one um, cherry in, and then the peel of a citrus juice, uh, or of an orange, to get the citrus juice. And so, cheers. Oh, that's good. I get that bourbon flavor. It's really sweet. I prefer bourbon over rye, just for the sweetness. It's really cold. I can get the flavor of the, the orange in there, the citrus. Um, it's really smooth. And so, cheers.